account sharing has been at the center of controversy for a long time now. We have some of the largest YouTubers making videos about account sharing, the community debating pros and cons about account sharing, and even the admins occasionally mentioning their feelings and NitroDipe's stance towards account sharing. So hey, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about account sharing, and I have four main topics that I wanted to cover today. The pros versus cons of account sharing, so what are the good parts, the bad parts, What's like the good, why are the good reasons to account share, bad reasons not to account share, obviously. Secondly, I want to talk about how has the community reacted and how has the community changed its uh, stance towards uh, account sharing as of somewhat recently. The third thing I wanted to talk about is the admin's position. So what the NitroDipe staff team has said about account sharing, why what they say about account sharing and how they made their decisions recently really shows what they, what they think about account sharing. And fourth, what should the community do moving forward? So where as a community should be we So where as a community should we be heading in the direction of count sharing? Should we start to appreciate it more? Should we start to use it more? Or should we start to, you know, deny it, stop using it, and slander those who do use it? And then to wrap it all off, I'll probably talk for a minute or so about my opinion. But anyways, this is going to be my complete video on account sharing. There's been so much stuff going on about account sharing recently. The top three season placements are all account shares. There's been so, so much stuff that I just couldn't, that I just couldn't not make a video. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first things first, we want to start off with a pros versus cons list. Obviously, when you are thinking about account sharing or you're debating whether account sharing is good or bad, you probably want to think about some of the pros and the cons of account sharing. So my first pro is it's good for your health. Grinders don't have to be hurting themselves to do insane amounts of races if two or more people are on the same account. It's actually really good for health, and that's one of the reasons that a lot of people seem to like it nowadays because little kids don't have to be hurting themselves over the game when they can just have more than one person on their account. And I think that promoting health is great. Kids should stay healthy. However, I'll talk a bit more in, uh, later in the video about why I think that's a kind of a stupid reason anyways, but it is a pretty valid point. It's good for the grinder's health to have more than one person on their account so they can get things like sleep and rest and relaxation. The second pro is you have the ability to do more races because two people get fatigued way less easily than one right? It is completely easily proven that account sharing is better for your race count and your season placement and whatever than the, having one person on account. We can see that from the fact that the top three season leaders for singular activity are all account shares. Cocho, Cocho's account, Eden's account, and Dre's account. Um, and just the fact that that alone shows that, you know, account shares have been winning the seasons for a while, they're winning seasons now, they're, they're doing very well, right? Account sharing is obviously the meta for competitive Nitro type, right? It's just so much easier to have more than one person on your account. So that's a great pro for account sharing. You can get more races done, and you can place higher in the season. However, on the flip side of that argument, it could be considered unfair, and that is my first con of account sharing, right? Unfair competition could be considered, you know, putting more than one person on your account. If one person on an account is what we consider to be fair, then two people on an account would probably be, you know, unfair, right? And if you're someone that can, and if you're someone that cares about like trying to keep the competitive scene fair, which it's not going to be fair, but if you care about that, then account sharing could be considered a very big, you know, unfair advantage, and that's why I actually put that under cons as well. Now, the second con is actually the most important, you know, point of all of this. Account sharing is a massive risk to your account. If you are thinking about account sharing in the future, something that you need to understand is how large of a risk account sharing is. Let me break it down. When you account share, you are trusting one or more people with your account. So you are trusting them not to steal it, to steal any of your cash, to try to get it banned, etc., etc. And that works great when the people that you trust are trustworthy people. They do the races, you guys are chill, whatever. However, not every single person that account shares with you is going to be a good person. For instance, let's take a look at Randora. 
And obviously, I cannot make a video about account sharing without bringing up the fact that there are vigilantes like Randora that are going around trying to get account shares, accounts stolen and banned, often sometimes doing it himself. So if we go to the racer Mystic360, this account was very much so in the news back in the day. Uh, just a couple of months ago, this thing was like at the center of all the attention. Because the owner, King Stealth, account shared with a lot of people. And something that happened was he got his account stolen so many times because he would account share with someone, the person would, you know, betray him and steal the account. And Randora was one of the people who did this. And other people like Randora just steal accounts of account shares and just steal accounts of account shares and, you know, obviously don't give them back. So... So a huge con to account sharing is that you could, you know, potentially get your account stolen very, very easily. And even if your account isn't stolen outright, having more people with your password than yourself is still a huge vulnerability. I'm sure you all will remember when Mal and Kocho stole Aiden's account and tried to get it banned. And the only reason they were able to succeed in stealing Ain's account was because so many people, one of them being Pandora, had his password. If Pandora had never had Ain's password, Kocho and Mao probably never could have stolen the account in the first place, and we would have gone through a lot less drama. However, because his password was with so many people, his account was more, more vulnerable to other people trying to steal it. The more people that have your account, and the more people that are on your account, etc., etc., the more likely you are to get your account stolen in the future. I will explain why that's such a big problem and why you know the whole uh, process of contacting support is not a uh, actual viable option anymore for account shares. And I will mention that in my segment on the admin's position. However, we gone over the basic pros and cons for account sharing. A, bi a big pro is that you know you can obviously do many more races and it's good for your health. Grinders don't need to be hurting themselves. Two of the cons are that it's considered, you know, unfair, and it's a massive risk to your account. You can get your account stolen very easily. So, so far, it kind of evens out. You know, it's good for your health. You can get a lot of races done. However, account sharing is a risk to your account. You can get it stolen and banned, and it can be considered unfair. So, these, you know, these are pretty basic concepts. However, how has the community reacted over the years? And I think that Paul Crowley, the, the captain of Syndicate, who you guys should probably know, said it really well. There was a stigma, or possibly there is a stigma, on account sharing in the community. Right? The community puts this stigma on account shares because they're doing something bad in the community's eyes. And for those of you who don't know what a stigma is, I will put a definition on screen. But it is a mark of disgrace associated with a particular circumstance, quality, or person. So basically, whenever someone says, like, the stigma of account sharing, we got the community putting this mark of disgrace on account sharers because they account share. They're doing something bad in the community's eyes. And that was pretty commonplace over the years, right? People didn't look up to account shares. Not that many people did it. But obviously, account sharing was very relevant, you know, back in 2019, 2018. People have been doing it for a long time. The community never seemed to, you know, like account sharing. I've been around for a while, and it was never, like, a popular thing to do. If you account shared and people knew about it, you probably weren't going to make too many friends in this community. No one really liked it. However... Things have been, you know, been starting to change. The community has shifted its perspective from everybody hates account sharing to some people hate account sharing and some people think it's fine, right? Nowadays, we have many, many people who, are, who have the opinion that account sharing is actually a totally fine thing to do. And that's respectable. Obviously, I'm not going to challenge their opinion. That's cool. And I'm not going to challenge the opinion of those who think it's not cool, obviously. However, you know, it's not, it's not uh, completely one-sided anymore, right? Back in the day, account sharing was completely disapproved of by everyone, the admins, the community, literally everyone. Everyone hated it. However, now people have started to recognize, you know, that it might have some good features. It might, might be an okay thing to do, and more people in the community have started to like account sharing or at least start to accept it, right? Maybe they don't like it, maybe they would wish it didn't exist, however, a lot of people are, are moving towards acceptance. 
So while I still think that there's a lot of people who are presenting, you know, the stigmatizing of account shares because they're doing something bad, there's also a lot of people um, in this on this site that think account sharing is totally cool, right? There's the people that are like, okay, Aiden's doing a cool thing. He's trying to win the season. There's more than one person on his account, whatever, right? Aiden has plenty of, you know, fans or people that think he's doing the right thing. Aiden also has plenty of haters, right? People think that he's cheating in some way. And so the community right now is in a very divided stance, right? There's a lot of people who think it's bad. There's a lot of people who think it's good. Um, but the community is pretty split right now. And I don't see that going anywhere anytime soon, right? I don't really see that changing. But the community is basically very split. There's the people that hate it, the people that love it, right? There's the people that hate it, like Randora, who tries to ban account shares, and then there's the people who love it, obviously, people who do it, like Aiden um, and Kocho, right? And so the community is pretty much split between those two opinions. And then, of course, there's probably a large portion of people that don't care at all, but, you know, they don't matter because we're talking about account sharing here. Anyways, let's hop into the third segment of this video. So what have the admins said about account sharing? Obviously, the admins have a massive say in how the community reacts to things and how the game goes and all these things. So what, what have the admins said about account sharing? Well, here is a very short paragraph from Travis that I wanted to read out because I think that it is very, very relevant here. So back in April of 2020, account sharing was kind of, you know, at the center of controversy, just like it is now. Kocho was being talked about as an account share and people didn't like that, etc., etc., so I went to my friend Travis and I was like, hey Travis, what do you guys think about account sharing? What are the Nitrotype team's ideas and thoughts about account sharing on the site? Hey Travis, there's been a lot of issues and controversy in the community around the issue of account sharing on Nitrotype. I was wondering how the admin team felt about account sharing, if it's bannable or not, and just like what you guys think about it. Pretty basic question. And here is, you know, the admins, the Travis's official like statement on account sharing. Our position has and always will be that it is discouraged, but you will not be banned for it. One of the reasons it is highly discouraged is there are no second chances for cheating or exploiting in any form. Nice one. And some big names have lost their accounts permanently because they shared with someone who used a cheat or exploit or had their money stolen by a friend who they shared their account with. Don't do it, but you won't be banned. I know many of the top teams also refuse to take players to account share. That aged well. So it's just all around best not to. No ban hammer, only shame hammer by the community. So Travis's official response is obviously that it's not bannable, right? Account sharing will not get you banned. The admins obviously discourage it. They don't think people should do it. However, it will not get you banned. And I kind of wanted to relate this situation and the admins involvement to a, a metaphor, right? It's whenever you go to the beach, there's no lifeguard on duty, and there's a sign that says, swim at your own risk, right? That is what the admins are saying. Swim, or account share, at your own risk. They discourage it, right? People discourage swimming when there's not a lifeguard around. However, you can do it. And the risk, and the risk with swimming when there's no lifeguard around is you could drown, you could get eaten by sharks, whatever. The risk... With account sharing is that you could get your account stolen, your money stolen, and potentially your account banned if someone were to cheat on your account. And here's where the lifeguard metaphor comes in, right? When you're swimming, there is no lifeguard here that will save you, right? There's no lifeguard that'll save you from drowning or save you from getting your account stolen. Oh, wait. And that is what the admins wish to say. They will not help you if you get your account stolen by from account sharing. And again, I wanted to look back at the Racer Mystic 360 to kind of explain what I'm trying to say here. The admins and the support team do not want to help people who get their accounts stolen by account sharing. One of these massive, massive examples is, again, the Racer Mystic 360. He got his account stolen so many times, and he begged his support so many times to get him back, and eventually he even had to beg to Travis that support just didn't want to deal with him, right? They just kept getting the account back for him, he kept losing it, and they kept, you know, having to do more work for this guy. Obviously, no hate to him, but he made a lot of wrong decisions. 
But the point is the admins don't want to waste their time getting the accounts back from people who are already doing something very risky. If you are account sharing, you are pulling a very, you know, idiotic move, but as calculated as you think it might be, it's still very, very risky. And so the admins don't want to waste their time running around trying to figure out whose account is whose and trying to give the account back to the right person. That is a complete waste of the time for the admins. And I totally agree with that, right? The admins don't want to be wasting their time. They have so many other things to do, right? The admins are trying to introduce a completely new track to NitroDive. They're trying to make a completely new season feature. They're trying to have an item shop and a new garage. And they're even trying to make a Nitro Math, a completely new game. They don't have enough time to spend their time running around trying to get accounts back for people that have lost them to account sharing. So the admins will not help you. And this is where I go back to the, you know, swim at your own risk. When you account share, there's no lifeguard to save you. There is a massive chance that if you lose your account, the admins and the support team will say, sorry, you account shared, you knew the risks, too bad. And to sum up the admin situation, they allow people to do it. They say it's, you know, allowed, it's not bannable, but of course they will not be helping you if you get into trouble. Obviously they aren't, you know, the most consistent with saying things like that. However, pretty pretty recently we've seen things like Aiden not getting his account back from support and Dre not getting his account back from support and later on, you know, Mystic360 not getting his account back from support. So the admins kind of don't really want to spend their time getting accounts back from account shares and they've said that and they, they will continue to stand by that, I think. So all in all, the account, you know, the admins let the account shares do it, but they're not going to be there to help you out. So that's another calculated risk that I spoke about earlier on in the video. It's another risk that you need to think about and some other potential con to account sharing. If you lose your account by getting scammed, there's a pretty good chance you'll get it back through support. However, if you lose your account because you are account sharing, there's a pretty good chance that you won't get your account back from support and that would suck. Now, moving on to my final point of the video. What is the community going to do towards account shares? What, what, what stance are people going to be taking? And why? And how will the communities, and how will the community evolve uh, around account sharing as of, in the future? So I definitely think that account sharing is not going anywhere as a competitive method, right? It is so on meta, like it is the very meta thing to do, if I, if, for lack of a better word, right? If you want to be competitive on the site, account sharing is the way to do it. It's easier, it's better, it wins, you know, it wins seasons. Um, so it's, it's, it's definitely nev never going to go anywhere as a competitive feature. Um, and I'm going to make a video pretty soon talking about why I think that the competitive scene is going to be, is broken permanently, but this kind of plays into it, right? Account sharing is always going to be part of the competitive scene as it is on this site. As long as there are activity leaderboards, you know, account sharing is going to be like at the top. So I think that account sharing as a method of competing is definitely not going anywhere. However, what about the community stance? In a matter of, you know, maybe a year, we have changed from everyone hating account sharing to a pretty split decision. And I think that the split decision is going to stay that way. Um, I can't really see anyone, like, like, absolutely everyone changing their opinion to one thing or another. There is no convincing evidence or arguments or anything that would make every single person on this site think one way or another. And that's how it usually is with controversial decisions. You know, you think about anything controversial in America, law, whatever, right? Gun control. No matter what you say, someone's going to hate it and someone's going to love it. It's the same thing with account sharing. No matter what evidence is presented, even if the admins make it bannable, even if everyone starts like liking it for whatever reason, there's always going to be someone that hates it and there's always going to be someone that likes it. Now, it's just the way it is with controversial topics. So I don't think the community should start to, like, shift towards one way and another. You know, respect people's opinions. If people don't like it, that's cool. If people do like it, that's cool. However, I think destigmatizing account sharing is something that we could work towards, right? Respect the people who do it because it's a legitimate strategy. But you don't need to, like, go after them and attack them and say they're awful people and tell them to ban themselves or whatever, right? We've seen a lot of really hateful things said to account shares recently. And it's like, 
and it's like the stigmatizing like of, of account sharing that's going on recently it's not helpful right that's the that's the biggest thing to me it's really not helpful um by telling an account sharer to stop account sharing you're not doing anything helpful you're just making your opinion known and that's not helpful right and in the end it probably is just going to create more drama than like just not bothering at all so i guess Maybe the community should work towards not hating on account sharing as badly because the admins have said it's not bannable, so it's not bannable, so they're legitimate players, so whatever, uh, right? But, <laughs> I, you know, I guess account sharing is like something that we need to work towards accepting as a community, right? There's going to be, there's always going to be people who hate seasons, right? But we accept it, right? There's always going to be the people who like events so much more than seasons. That's me. However, we accept it because we know as a community, events are here to stay. Or sorry, seasons are here to stay. Darn. I wish it was events. It's the same thing with account sharing. Even if you don't like account sharing, you better start accepting it because nothing you say or do, nothing the admin say or do, will ever stop it from being so entirely relevant and at least appreciated on this site. So if you don't like it, at least start to accept it. It's going to be here for a long time. Now, moving towards my closing remarks of this video, because this video has gone on way, way too long. So, basically what I wanted to say is my opinion towards account sharing has pretty much shifted uh, quite a bit, actually. Back in, you know, April-ish of 2020, I was completely against account sharing. I thought it was stupid. I thought the people who did it were bad people. I thought that it should be bannable, etc., etc. And... I still think it's very stupid, but for different reasons. Now I think that it's a very stupid thing to do because you are risking the safety of your account for minimal gain. You know, it's, it's like a high risk, a low reward situation. And the, everyone will tell you not to do something that is high risk, low reward. This account sharing is very high risk and pretty much low reward. And so my advice is don't do it. Uh, so obviously, I think the people who account share are pretty foolish. I don't think they're stupid, but like, they're making a wrong choice. However, I am taking my own advice and working towards accepting account sharing. I have done races for Aiden before, right? I think I've done like 50 races on Aiden's account. I have, I've helped him out because he's my friend, and I'd like to see him win the season. And obviously, you know, I have moved towards accepting account sharing because everything that I just said for the past like five minutes is true. Account sharing is not going anywhere. Nothing I say or do can make account sharing less relevant on the site. Nothing I say or do can make Kocho and Aiden and all the top leaderboarders stop account sharing. So why should I fight it, right? I have no reason to waste my time trying to convince a billion people to have my opinion when maybe my opinion isn't the right one to have. Thinking. But I'm, now I'm going to be serious for you guys. <laughs> Um, I, I'm, you know, I'm way past the days of trying to get account shares banned, right? I, 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 that's not me anymore. I just do think that if you're account sharing, you're making a mistake, you're doing it at your own risk, and if you get punished, karma, karma sucks. However, um, I obviously don't hate account sharing anymore. I think it's a viable strategy, um, and I've even done some of it myself on other people's accounts. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you made it all the way to this video, uh, to the end of this video, that really, really shows me that you care about what I have to say and what I have to say here today because this video is extremely, you know, important. So if you made it all the way to this end, of, to the end of this video, at the top of your comment, write this. Hashtag Kristen Smith for president. If you put that at the top of your comment, I will see that you have watched the entire video and that I will know that you are a true and dedicated fan. I will also give your comment a heart if you put hashtag Kristen Smith for president at the top of your comment. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this more like comprehensive video on account sharing. I think I made some good points. I think I presented pretty, I uh, like the both arguments, both sides of the argument pretty well. And I think that there's definitely a lot more to talk about with account sharing. But in these 20 minutes, I guess I kind of made my mark. Anyways, if you, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. Be sure to subscribe. Every tiny little bit helps. So thank you guys so much for everyone who has, you know, liked the video and subscribed, whatever. Anyways, past all of that, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone, and have, as always, a wonderful day.